give me a magical black girl protagonist navigating a world of secrecy, hiding her abilities while on an epic voyage to protect the ones she loves. There's magic, Orisha, constant war, fighting, and a love situation that definitely looks triangular. This book would tug at all of your emotions. Are you ready? The Books and Vogue Podcast. Come get your favorite next book. Books and Folk Podcast with Catch and Welcome, book lovers, to the Books and Folk Podcast. This is your premier listening experience, all about immersive reading and helping avid and reluctant readers alike imagine book characters like never before. I'm your host, Catch and Dad. The format of the show is I introduce a book. Share tips on how you can engage your senses as you read this title, because it's one thing to be a mood reader, but you get a little something extra from the story when you are a set the mood reader. And finally, I will end the show with a reimagining of my favorite scene. Today, we will discuss techniques for getting into Forged by Blood with none other than the author, Ehebor Okosan. Welcome, Ehebor. Hi, Kat. Thank you so much for having me. Please tell us about the book. So Forced by Blood is um, one of the books of my heart. It's a story I've dug about for so many years. It's a story that uh, really set a fire in my bones um, from the time I was young, where I would read so many books and I would wonder and wonder where I could find the rich world I had grown up with, like the stories that I knew as well as I knew my own skin. I would wonder why the worlds I was reading were not as diverse and as lovely as the one I lived in. And so Forged by Blood was really born out of that. It was born from a place of trying to understand and navigate um, an existence at crossroads, an existence of being rooted in different places and then also sort of a nomad, not by choice, but by necessity. It was a book that was born out of trying to understand how to find hope after so much heartbreak. I hope you enjoy it. I absolutely adored this book. So thank you so much for that. (laughs) Thank you so much for that, Ehebor. Um, Do you care to join me in a discussion of some tips for setting the reading mood? I would love to. Okay. Well, book lovers, I hope you have your writing utensils ready because class is in session. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. Oh. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. Oh. Hear it, see it, smell it, sense it, taste it, touch it. The Books and Vogue Podcast. So... <laughs> Ehebor, what is the vibe? How can we engage our spirit as we read this book? Imagine yourself in a boat. You are grasping the oars. The sky is charcoal. You see a flash of lightning. The waters are choppy. They're beginning to roar. You look behind you because someone has just cut the line and now you're drifting out to sea. All you have is your oars. You have to survive the tempestuous waves. Are you ready? Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. That that is the vibe. <laughs> so <laughs> so what is the sound of Borsh by Blood? What key notes in music or nature? Cause set the tone as we read this novel. Oh gosh, um, Forged by Blood is a novel that really shifts, I think, sound as you go through sound is very important. I would say think of a whispering wood that promises secrets. Think of a sea, a raging sea, a whispering wood. Think of just the sound of stillness and of heat touching your skin and then cold lapping at you every now and then oh wow oh wow so our do share the aesthetics um any visuals aside from the book 
Oh gosh, uh, visuals. Hmm. I'd say read this book when it's an afternoon, a lazy afternoon, or a nice rich evening that promises something and be prepared to go into the night. Um, wear cozy, comfortable clothing as well, um, or at least shoes that you can pace in or be barefoot, just all, all of those things. Okay, okay. So what's the flavor? Any food or drink companions for this title? Oh, yes, absolutely. Order a boatload of suya if you want just like meat skewers, like laden with peanuts. And if you can't have peanuts, that's okay. Um, and peppers. Order some meat pies stuffed to the brim with either minced meat or minced vegetables. Um, get some like delicious like rice with hot rich stew. Uh, drink some broth and uh, maybe like 18 cups of a ginger tea that really just crawls inside of you and refuses to come out. Okay. So, so what's the aroma? Are there any smells to transport us into the pages? Absolutely. Burn, burning wood, for one. Um, the scent of rain, like the freshness when it washes over you. The smell of morning dew when it just rouses you and promises you a wonderful new day. Uh, the salt from a shoreline when the sea laps at your feet. Mm. And then also just like food, you know, potatoes, chutney, jasmine, oh, just lavender and hibiscus, rich, rich hibiscus and the smell of frying fish. I can just hear it sizzling. It smells so good. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Likewise, it does smell good. <laughs> so, so how can we get more of the feels? Oh, for the feels, for touch, it's going to change as you read the book. There are times where you will be very, very hot, where everything will feel like you are burning, and times where you will feel so cold, you will wonder if you ever knew what warmth was. I would say get a really comfortable blanket and some pillows. Pretend that you have the sound of rain to cool you off every now and then, and uh, get to it. Okay. Well, there you go, book lovers. These are your recommended supplies as you read this title. If you're able, pause and get some of these if available or simply imagine because it's time for my favorite scene. Disclaimer, please note the exact words, names, locations, and or scenarios mentioned in this reimagined reenactment may differ from the actual book. Sharing my favorite scenes, I reenacted though. Imagining the fiction world that I've been reading of. Going from all the things, I just gave you a list. Come experience all the senses as protagonists. And it don't get more real than this. Immersive we will book some up and live vicariously. Secrets Revealed, starring Ehebor Okosan as Jonas and Colin, and Kat Trinidad as Demi. If that's how you feel, go home. I'll finish this mission on my own. He didn't mean that, you know. He lashed out because he's angry. He's hurting and confused, like you. What do you know about her? I've caused enough of it and received enough of it to know. I don't need advice from you. We have a truth, but that doesn't make us friends. One day, I'll make you answer for your crimes. We're companions then, at least for a short time. <sighs> Look, he's not going to leave. I would say you should trust me, but we both know there's no way you'll do that. So, trust him. After all, he's come with you this far, hasn't he? He's come this far because he wants to prove himself to me. Has he? Hmm. There's nothing to prove. I know what he's like. He always says things that he regrets. Colin has been my friend for years. And here I am, like a fool, 
worried he could turn his back on me. If you know it's foolish, why do you worry? You know why. Demi, I... Oh, great. It comes out of being calling from the treehouse. I'm sorry, Demi. I didn't mean it. Any of it. I know what this mission means. I chose to come along. I'm not taking it back. Are you going to threaten me again? The next time we fight? If you are, my offer still stands. You can leave. Demi, I'm not going anywhere. I chose you. Book lover. If you have enjoyed this sneak peek, you can get more by reading the whole book. Forged by Blood is available at your local library and everywhere books are sold. And if it's not, request it because you deserve to read all the books that interest you. And if you have already read Forged by Blood or in the middle of reading it, let me know in the comments what you like to do to set the reading mood because I would love to hear from you. So please leave your feedback. Hey, boy. Is there anything else? else you would like to share with the listeners oh gosh uh thank you so much for reading forged by blood thank you so much for loving it and giving the story a chance to touch your heart um i'm hard at work at book two i've been sick over the last week but you know getting right back into it and all i can say is that book two will be stormier even more epic bigger and i well it's going to really put you through the paces. And so be prepared. I know people have their ships and I know that people are scared of which way things are going to go. But all I will say is for us to come out of the other side, you have to be prepared to leave your hearts on the floor. Oh, wow. Well, I'm glad to hear that you are doing better. And we are definitely looking forward to book two. Thank you again, Ebor, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Kat. And thank you so Absolutely. much, Books in Vogue listeners. Absolutely. And thank you, book lovers, for listening. With peace, love, and joy. Happy reading. The Books and Vogue Podcast. Come get your favorite next book yeah, 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 yeah. The Books and Folk Podcast yeah, 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 yeah. With Catch and Dad Subscribe, listen, check out recommendations And happy reading